This is McCook's Mr. Bill's an honor to have you here. Everybody wants to be rich. Or do they? It's interesting, in my 63 years of life, I've never had a single person say, I'm rich. Not one. Some will say I'm well-to-do or comfortable, but nobody admits to the word rich. Interesting. But in fact, in my definition, many of us are just that, rich. My definition is, you got a $20 bill in your pocket, do you have $20 in your pocket? If you do, you are richer, you have more wealth than 20% of the adults in America. That's a sad state of affair that 20% of the people in America couldn't come up with $20 if they had to. Sad state of affairs. When our government continues to ship money around the world to other poor people and leave our own destitute. With that in mind, though, you're here for a story. And the story is how to protect yourself from counterfeit coins and silver and gold. Now, I have known probably a dozen people well enough that I could speak to them openly. They were coin dealers or they simply were collectors of coins and or silver and even gold. Many thousands of dollars some of them had tied up in that type of thing. And so I would always ask the question when it came up, I would say, okay, have you ever gotten counterfeit coins, bullion, silver, or gold? And of the dozen people, every one that I've ever spoken to on the subject, every one of them had gotten bogus counterfeit coins or bullion. Every one of them. That doesn't speak well for the industry. And it also says even the supposed experts can get burned now and then. And so I ask them, I'd say, okay, how do you prevent that? And every one of them said one of their main ways to protect themselves from that is to have a scale. And so I picked up one some time back. And we're going to discuss or have a review on a scale to protect you from counterfeits. Now this nice little pocket scale is less than $10 at Amazon. Simply turn it on and it goes to zero. And taking the old silver dollar, putting it on there. Now I've got it set at ounces. So that's a .940. Okay. Because a silver dollar doesn't quite weigh a pound or an ounce, excuse me. And so and then you're 9.943. These guys are definitely in the ballpark of where they need to be. And of course, or a one ounce silver coin, 1.104. And this little guy, and it's a 1.103. They're definitely in the ball game. Now, if by chance it was heavier, that'd tell you it probably got some lead in it or uh, heavier material. And if it's lighter weight, it's some other alloy other than silver. Now, this is a great way because you can check this as you buy your coin at the point of sale. Many dealers, sadly, have it set up that uh, you, uh, when you purchase your coin, they have a buy as is or all sales are final. And that means that you're uh, in between a rock and a hard place. If you get home and do some checking, and there are other uh, tests that you could do, but by doing said tests, then it's too late. This little guy, it allows you to do the test right there in front of them, and without doing any harm to the coins whatsoever, some of the acid tests and things like that are not only dangerous, but also can damage said coin. And so needless to say, this is something you want to look at. I would also point out, though, that uh, on a day after event, especially if the market gets flooded with counterfeit stuff, that your dollars in the way of coins and or bullion may not be near as valuable as you might think. 
I've always said for a day after event, personally, I think you'd be an awful lot better off with a pack, a good pack of batteries with a five-year shelf life would probably be more valuable to you personally or in trading stock to other people. Absolutely. But that's just my thoughts on it. I do have about a dozen ounces of silver, a dozen, nothing like the hundreds or even thousands that some of my friends have, but be that as it may, whether you're uh, buying just a few or a whole bunch, at least you might want to consider getting yourself a scale for less than $10. Rate this film.